Welcome into this week's episode of Learning Sports with Daniel. I'm Haley Anders. And I'm Daniel Shelley. In this episode, we're learning the wonderful sport of basketball. Daniel, I heard you might have some experience with basketball. Tell us a little bit about that. I mean, not to brag, but I did play in kindergarten and first and second grade over in Hawaii. So it was like a more of like a low key team that a lot of you probably don't know of. It's been a few years, maybe like 15. So to get back into the basketball spirit, I've spent all day watching sports movies, including Space Jam, Air Bud, The Luck of the Irish, and most importantly, Kazam, which really isn't a sports movie, but it has Shaq in it, so I felt like it was relevant. We'll count it. Yeah. Well, in order to learn about basketball, we're going to head over to Strom to the courts and play around a little bit, and we're going to learn more about the sport of basketball. All right, Daniel, so what is a bounce pass? A bounce pass is where you have the ball and you want to get it to your teammate. So you have to pass it to them, but you don't want to throw it to there because then anyone can steal it. So then you can just bounce it on the ground to them. Daniel, you are spot on. I'm going to have to come up with some really hard ones soon in order to trip you up. But first, let's go to another pass, the chess pass. Kind of like a bounce pass where you don't bounce, but you are passing it to someone's chest. Exactly. That's exactly what a chest pass is. You throw it from your chest and you're aiming for the other person's chest. Well done. See, I told you, we used to do that in kindergarten all the time. You're a pro at it. You're the chest pass master. Probably. He got an award for it. No. All right, next up is a free throw. What context does a free throw come in during the game? And what exactly is a free throw? So a free throw happens after some sort of foul, whoever was fouled upon or fouled against, I don't know. Uh, they have to stand at the top of the circle thing on the court, the free throw line, if you will. And everyone else stands on the sides like a parade. And you get two opportunities to throw it in to get some amount of points. That's not three. Because after that line is three points, but not in a free throw. Okay, so you did get where a free throw is shot correct. Well done. The parade, we'll allow the parade, but sometimes a player only shoots one free throw. Not, it's not necessarily two all the time, yeah. but you're close. All right, on to the not so basics. Right. Are you ready? First up, an alley-oop. What is your take on an alley-oop? So it's where one person throws it and the other person catches it in the air and then they dunk it. That is exactly correct. That is an alley-oop. Textbook definition, probably word for word, maybe not, but... Who's counting? <laughs> Definitely. Okay, next, relatively easy one, a dunk. A dunk is where your hands actually make contact with the rim, and you slam it on in, sometimes called a slam dunk, for the more hip people. That is exactly what a dunk is. We would reenact a dunk, but we're going to leave it to the professionals, i.e. Seventh Woods. I'm pretty sure I can make it. I'm like, what, 5'8"? Those hoops are easy to get to. Put your thinking cap on, sir, because our next term is a toilet bowl. I'm going to assume that normal toilet bowls, when you flush them, they spin and the water goes down. And it's a play and it goes. You run, you run around. <laughs> around. The ball goes around. It's actually much simpler than that. All right. It's when the ball goes around the rim, like a toilet is flushing, and then uh... goes in. Bye bye, ball. But that was really good. The toilet. You know, in my mind, a toilet bowl is going to be a pass around from now on. Yeah. When someone passes the ball around the team, you're going to be like, they just toilet bowled. We should get that to Coach Frank Martin. He would love that play call. Or Don Staley. Absolutely. All right, next up, we have an outlet pass. What is an outlet pass? Okay, so with an outlet, I'm either thinking two things. I'm thinking electrical outlet that you plug into when the ball goes out of bounds, so they're outlet, then you're passing 
to the inlet. Not exactly, Daniel. An outlet pass is actually when the rebounder throws the ball to another teammate in order for a fast break to occur. Fast breaks, totally. Yeah, like the candy bar, right? Yeah. yeah. Kit Kat, fast breaks, rebounds. The whole nine yards. Sports. All right, into our new segment of a little quiz for you, sir. Quiz. All right, first up, who won the NBA championship last year? Was it A, the San Antonio Spurs, B, the Los Angeles Lakers, C, the Houston Rockets, or D, the Miami Heat? Okay, um, I was definitely thinking college, so I was going to say Louisville, which they did win the March Madness, so I'm right there. But I feel like everyone hates the Heat, so I want to say the Heat. The Heat did win the championship last year. One point for Daniel. What? Next up, who is the most winningest coach in college basketball? Don Staley? No. no. Uh, do I not get options? No. No. Um, fun fact, um, I'm related to a basketball coach somewhere, I think. Don't remember his name, but he's like my grandpa's uncle. So I don't think it's him. I don't even know any basketball coaches. So I'm going to just take a zero for this one. OK, well, it is Coach K, Mike Krzyzewski. Sure. Do you know what team he coaches? Yeah. This is college. Think oh, ACC. College. That's Clemson and others. It's definitely not Clemson. Clemson. Oh, wait. wait, no. What? No, Clemson's in the ACC, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but then, no, not their basketball team. Um, ACC. We don't play them, so I don't know any of their teams. Um, let's go state-wise. Kentucky. No, Duke. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, duh. Duke's good at basketball. Coach K is the most winningest coach in college basketball. Uh, He's got 903 wins. Oh. <laughs> the what? Okay, Daniel. Last question. Are you ready? It's one to one. Exactly. Okay, if you can get this, you win all the marbles. There really aren't any marbles. What? What Kardashian married Lamar Odom? Oh. Um, Chloe. <laughs> Daniel wins the quiz. Basketball genius Absolutely. right here. All-star, Steve Nash. Yep. Was he basketball? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. <ya. laughs> this kid's on fire. We've taught Daniel so much today. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Learning Sports with Daniel. I'm Haley Anders. And I'm Daniel Shelley. Tune in next time when Katie Davis teaches me all about America's favorite pastime, baseball, and watch me knock it out of the park. <laughs>